Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick at barbend.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Dimatize's Elite Casing. Dimatize is a very well-known name in the supplement game. They're probably best known for their ISO 100, which is mostly hydrolyzed whey. But they've also got a pretty good reputation for this casing here. In general, the company has a good reputation with third-party testing websites like Labdoor, which is encouraging. And when people talk about this casing, they pretty much always talk about the cinnamon bun flavor. So I'm very excited to try it out. And while you can indeed have casein shakes, in my experience, people most like to have it as a protein pudding. So let's whip up a pudding, see how it tastes. That is very, very good. This tastes a lot like a cinnamon bun, you know, per the uh, description of the flavor. I think this is a really impressive taste. It does have plenty of artificial flavors and sweeteners in this. So by no means is it an all natural product, but the artificial ingredients do come together to make something that tastes very good. I mix this with a ratio of one scoop of protein to one and a half scoops of water. And it's going down very well. I think if you want something a bit richer, albeit with a few more calories, mixing this with whole milk, I think it'd be even better. Let's get a quick look at this nutrition label. One scoop of this is 130 calories. In that, you're gonna get 25 grams of protein, three grams of carbohydrates with no fiber and no sugar, and one and a half grams of fat with no saturated fat. So yeah, that's a pretty remarkable macronutrient split given that there is no sugar and uh, also there's no saturated fat, which is pretty remarkable for a casein protein powder. Besides that, if we're looking at other nutrients here, there's 10% of daily sodium, 4% of your potassium, 2% of your iron, 7% of your cholesterol, and 60% of your recommended daily intake of calcium. Relative to other casein protein powders, that is actually a bit higher in calcium and a bit lower in saturated fat and sugar than I expect to see. It's also a tiny bit higher in sodium, but not by very much. Now, as far as the ingredients go, the first one is micellar casein, and then there's a very interesting sunflower creamer, which I believe would be responsible for the very, very creamy pastry-like taste I got, even though I didn't add any milk to this. In the sunflower creamer, there's sunflower oil, a maltodextrin, some extra micellar casein, some soy lecithin, sodium citrate, and tricalcium phosphate. Besides that, there's just some natural artificial flavors, some salt, some sunflower lecithin, some xanthan gum, that's a thickener and a stabilizer. Then there's the artificial sweeteners, sucralose and acesulfame potassium, and some potassium chloride. So as I mentioned earlier, there are plenty of artificial ingredients in this product, which is fine. Uh, there's also some extra soy as well. I'm not saying artificial ingredients or soy are necessarily bad for you, but there are people who do try to stay clear of those. So if that's you, might give you pause. Normally this costs between 29 and 35 dollars is a relatively wide variety of prices out there on the internet and that price can change at any time for any reason of course but right now yeah between 29 and 35 so you're looking at roughly a dollar and 30 cents per scoop or about five cents per gram of protein which is not outrageously expensive for a casein protein there are plenty out there that are more like four four and a half cents this is about five cents depending on where you get it that said, uh, it is very delicious and it also has this sunflower creamer, which is a bit unusual. So you may find that price worth it. So there were a lot of things that I really liked about Dimatize's uh, Elite Casein. First of all, it's uh, tested by Informed Choice. as a third party testing group to make sure there are no banned substances and stuff like that. So that could be extra important, especially if you're a competitive athlete. Another thing that I really liked about this product, the taste is just really phenomenal. I've tried a lot of caseins, uh, but this really does go down very easily. The sunflower creamer really does a good job. It's also very smooth in texture when you whip it up, which isn't always the case with caseins. The nutrition is also pretty interesting. It's not like crazy out of the ordinary, but it is a bit higher in calcium than I would expect. And also the fact there's absolutely no sugar and no saturated fat in here could be pleasing to a lot of folks. There's just a couple things you might not be as crazy about with this product. Uh, it's a tiny bit high in sodium with 10% of the recommended daily intake. That's not insane, but it's a bit higher than other caseins that I've seen. Uh, another thing is that at five cents per gram of protein, it's not the cheapest casein on the market. I think it has plenty of pros to offer to justify that. Nonetheless, just a little bit more expensive than you might expect to pay for casein. Finally, uh, it does contain a few ingredients that some people do try to stay clear of. It's a bit unusual in that it has soy less than in it, but it also has sunflower lecithin, which people usually use instead of soy to make their product soy free. But in any case, this does have some soy. Uh, it does have some artificial flavors and sweeteners as well. I'm not saying it's bad for you again, but yeah, some people do try to stay clear of those. So it's just something to point out. All right, so those are my thoughts on Dimatize's Elite Casein. For the full written review, where I get a little bit more nitty gritty with the nutrition science, just make sure you Google the full review with Barben plus Dimatize Casein.